Welcome guys to another episode of games. I'm playing on my a little bit worse computer, but it's it's gonna be fine. I can get like 120 FPS. Yeah, I capped it. If I can get 120 FPS, that's fine. It's because if you drop lower than that, though, it starts fucking up your mouse sensitivity, which I don't like. But for some, it, my computer seems able to handle a recording. It's gonna be the mic that's the problem. We're also going to Arachnologist 10. You know, best kit in the game. Oh, never mind. We're gonna be fine. Let me spawn kill some nerds. Oh, this poor guy. There wasn't any escape in that. No, sir. I have an iron sword. You can't spawn kill me. Doesn't work that way. You survived a long time, but it's just because he's the block glitch. Why can't this fishing rod hit him? Why does everyone have a speed buff? What the hell? <laughs> it would have been so easy to rampage, but everyone I found had a speed buff. Nope. Get out of here. This stuff belongs to me now. For a second there I thought I spawn killed someone else that had level 10, I'm like, oh. But nope, just spawn killed a horse nine. Completely fine with that. Horse nine's a pretty good kit. Get some free dime boots, which is good, because we weren't the Zarakno is like no late game potential at all. Ah, fuck it. We can't catch up to him. Thank you. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. Yes. So we just need to not get speed. Just not need to not get speeded. That's our goal for this entire game. Just don't get speeded. Should spawn our horse. That over there is a diamond helmet, and I am interested in acquiring that diamond helmet. But that is also a very high-level astronaut. Who thinks that he can just walk past me, the hell? Double hit! Yes! That did all of the damage. Oh, shit. Nope. You don't have enough gear to janitor me with speed, sir. Not enough gear now. He, he was doing really good. He had really high level scout, I'm assuming. Yep! Oh, boy. Yeah, when a scout 7 takes you by surprise, you get wrecked. Or you manage to barely, like, exchange... It's, hey. Son of a... That, 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 nothing except... Hey! Back off! Not even. See, I know what he was trying to do, but there was no way he was going to be able to do that for long enough. Not even. Where the hell is my... There it is. <laughs> it was hiding where I least suspected it, in my inventory. Oh my god. Well, that was... That was a mess. As I said, you know, I said, I go not to get speed jangered, and it almost happened. Like, I heard those footsteps, and I'm like, shit. Even when they have no gear, if a speed 3 guy jumps you from behind, you don't want to know that he has speed 3, you're screwed, because he's going to get the initial combo on you, and that does so much damage. But thankfully, the, the idea is that Scout just gets no gear, so... The problem is, when someone has gear and speed pots, it's over. Spiders, kill him. Get him, Billy. Get him, spiders. Spider, get him. Yeah! GG. Also, one of the one of the only um, upsides I think to having an iron sword kit, because all the iron sword kits they seem to give really, they're just not that good. I'm probably forgetting one. A speleologist is decent. I think it gives an iron sword. It's probably my. I should have given the diamond axe. It's my fault. My bad. My bad, guys. But um, most iron swords, like astronaut and knight, they just they aren't that good. 
I mean, they have raw armor, but, I mean, in the late game, raw armor, everyone has raw armor, but now they have diamond armor. And the iron sword, it's still just sharp as one iron. But the good thing is that if you get an iron sword and you get a fail enchantment, you can get a second try, because you can combine the two swords. See you in the next round. And we are back. Arachnolid is 10 on Citadel. It's, it's decent on Citadel, because you get the iron sword. So that's that's one place. We just need, if you kill probably get a nice chest plate and then kill a scout and you're set. This guy, get off my chest route. Yeah, you better get off. Now the only thing we really need in our chest route is a chest plate, so let's hope we get one of those. Iron boots ain't bad, but aren't gonna help in thirty seconds. Honestly, I'd rather just go into the fight and then look through every single one of the remaining chests. There are people climbing up the tower. Ah. Uh, I don't want to go after those guys. It takes like a minute just to climb up that tower. What's this guy doing? I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going in. Big boop. Ah, uh, poor guy has a wood axe. Yeah, he had the right idea. He was trying to play around the um, play around the heights and try to catch me off guard. Basically, <laughs> I mean, he was he was dead in that situation. There was no getting out of that. I mean, his only chance was to catch me really off guard by changing the elevation. But I was I was prepared for it. Oh crap. How did that not land? Okay. Shit. Oh my god, when I have like half health and I hear someone drinking a speed potion, I freak out, gonna be completely honest. I'm like, no. Two armor bars, almost assuredly better than speed three. Oh, that was a Fisherman 9. We're gonna back out for now. I'm using my guild. You want to fight here? Can't use your speed shenanigans here. Yeah, yeah, do it. I dare you. Do it. I double dare you. Seriously? You're going to get jumped from behind. Deal with it. Now I'm going to jump this guy from behind, all part of my master plan! <laughs> oh, the pieces came together on that one. And now that guy is getting the hell out of there. Let's go after him. I don't know how high level scout he is, but I always just assume that at least they have scout 7, because level 7 is really easy to get, and it's so good. Oh uh, no, we can just jump, jump in the water, there isn't any way I'm going to be able to catch him. There we go. Knocked him down a half heart. The shot ain't happening. Yeah, he can back off, and we don't have any speed pots, so we might, we might get eight blocks. It's just an accepted thing I found. Sometimes I just go into fighting against someone with speed, and they, <laughs> there's just no, ain't no stopping the reach. Hello, is hell. He's slightly in the ground. That's not. I am gonna hug this guy. Don't let him escape. Damn it, I let him escape. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, trap him. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, man, that shot. At first I was like, I probably can't make this shot, and then I was like, I gotta try! <laughs> and nope. Oh wow, I, that was some weird knockback. I think he was probably lagging pretty hard. Because I hit him with the fishing rod, and then I jumped him like, wait, why didn't he move? And then, then he sort of lagged out. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just like, at this point in my Blitz career, I'm just like, I'm done with scouts. I, if I see someone, if someone has speed potions, it's like, that's it. I will hold nothing back. I will scumbag you as hard as I know how. Because if I don't do something to you, you're going to speed pot me. And once speed gets involved, sometimes you, there's nothing you can do to prevent you from getting aid blocked. And that's one of the cool things I like to abuse Arachno for, even though for fucking cobwebs don't work in deathmatch. They should work in deathmatch. Elite team, please. Please change that. They should work in deathmatch. Arachno is a bit underpowered. It's a decent early game kit, but let's at least give it cobwebs and deathmatch. It won't balance it entirely, but it'd make it at least useful in deathmatch. But at least the spiders can really, the spiders can really mess people up. And then I just, I just spend the entire game like either to look for speed pots or I try to get so much armor that hopefully I'll be able to exchange hits with someone with speed. Anyhow, guys, that was another episode of the Blitz Survival Games. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Let's go for um a plural amount of likes. So. Zero is plural, two is plural, just let's go for not one like. Bye.